Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Transport Fever 2 Strategy and Tactics uh, Episode uh, 1. So, in our last episode, we got ourselves started in Death Valley, and we laid down some rules here. Um, no boats, no water tool, um, and no cargo. And that last rule I kind of added at the last second because I was upset by the hand that I was dealt by these damn cities and the fact that the largest ones all demand the cargo types that are not good to start with, which flies in the face of my strategy. But the whole no cargo at all ever kind of didn't go over so well with a lot of you. Like, I got a lot of negative feedback. A constructive uh, criticism, and I appreciate I appreciate when I say good, bad, or indifferent, I do mean the bad, and that was some bad. Dang. So, yeah, you guys don't like the whole no cargo ever. So, I'm going to make a modification. Uh, so, I'm going to say passengers only until I have linked up every single city. Once every single city is hooked up to my passenger network and a citizen in any one town could conceivably, in theory, make their way to any other town via my network, then the, the no cargo restriction is lifted and I will then be charged with doing cargo um, and weaving my the cargo into my network that's already probably going to be all over the place from the passengers um, and also keeping up with the growing passengers once all the towns start growing from the cargo. So there, yes, there will be cargo in this series, um, just not right at the beginning for that extra added punch of challenge. So then, how are we going to approach our first phase of this challenge, the passenger-only phase? Well, a lot of you have said, oh, it's just going to be him stringing uh, buses from town to town, and then he's going to say it's done. Nah. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, you, you guys know me. I don't go with traditional strategy here. I go for the weird strats. The weird strats that 85% of the time work out really well and 15% of the time, well, <laughs> but I think, uh, I think this one will work out. Um, we are not just going to be spamming 11 billion buses. That's not to say that we will not ever use buses, but we, we, I, I have a, I have a deeper focus here. So we're going to start centrally located and that means if you haven't kept, uh, caught it from my zooming here, Melanopolis. So Melanopolis, um, not the largest town, but actually the third largest town, but still decently sized to get started and I'm more interested in the central location of it than I am the raw population of it. Now then, um, we um, uh, we're, we're, first things first, before we hook up any town to any other town, we want to hook a town up to itself. Uh, and if you remember my quick tips about intra-city transportation, now is when we're going to be breaking out that playbook. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay, so Melanopolis has is a little fragmented here. we got the residentials down here in the south, got the commercials over here, um, and then the industrials over here. This is... An interesting layout in that the um, honestly like you could have a single stop serve a majority of all of these which actually isn't a good thing because then people will probably just want to walk but that's okay I have an idea here I, I absolutely have an idea here so you can see where the concentration is right along here my problem is, however, that if we run a line along here, look at how many residential zones this borders. This is going to cause noise pollution galore if we use this stretch of road right here. We do not want to do that. Because um, I, want, I want to preserve whatever growth gains we get from passengers because we're not going to be able to tap into the uh, more powerful cargo growth until later. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to grab this little nub and pull it down here. Yeah, I don't want to demolish that little house. Uh, that's only going to cost me just a little tiny bit of money. And what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, grab my upgrade tool and we're going to upgrade here to here to here to here. 
And the whole idea here is that, yeah, we want to grab the residentials, but we don't want to run them through the heart of the residential zone. If by, by, by only going this deep in here, we still grab all the residentials. Um, if we flip over here, yeah, see how that we grab pretty much all the residentials. Um, but then we can flip ourselves over here. So we can go over here. Now we can make a stop at the commercials, um, like so to grab all the commercial zones before finally coming to a, uh, a stop here in the industrial zones. Now this, this zone right here may be a bit redundant. I actually probably don't need that one because it looks like this one covers all of it. So we're going to grab you here. I'm actually going to go ahead and demolish this little one right here. And that should be a good line, at least to start us off with. And hey, it, it, it exposes some of the tram track to the open air, which means placing our tram station will be quite easy. Let's try to let's try to place it cheaply and as well as easy easily. I'm pretty sure tram stations don't cause noise, but I still want to place it somewhere relatively flat. Also, let's not forget to place and since uh, place our headquarters. Uh, and since we are uh, starting here in, uh, in um, uh, Melanopolis, we uh, we'll, we'll might as well put our uh, headquarters here too. Um, yeah, let's let's put you right out here. Right at, not not exactly on the eye. Yeah, let's let's use our shift rotate here because that's going to bother me otherwise. <laughs> Boom. There we go. Our headquarters is down. Right then, let's get a new line. From you to you. Now, yeah, it wants to go in a circle. And if we were using regular buses, they would go in a circle. But we don't want it to go in a circle. That's going to be too noisy. So they have to follow the tram tracks. Uh, Horse-drawn streetcar. Now, uh, one of the benefits to going with the European set is we get access to the six-capacity streetcar. Now, it is more expensive uh, for this, um, but it's still pretty darn good. Uh, so we're going to go there, and I forgot to set you to uh, slightly higher maintenance. Give me just a moment here. Tram one. Um, high maintenance. There we go. I do... I do um, um, believe in that particular thing. Now, what are we, what else are we going to do? Because, I mean, just, just setting up one intercity route, you could have just watched the video for that one. We also want to set up one of those routes for another city, our, our destination. And New Jet Stream City is another of the larger cities out there, the 234. The largest city is actually way out here, Mimicon. Um, Actually, second largest. Mimicon's uh, second largest. Well, actually, they're about even, but still. Uh, Mimicon's a bit out of reach. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Alright, so we, uh, we're, we're going to be going up to New Jet Stream City. So let's do the same, uh, let's do the same analysis here. So New Jet Stream City's got some, uh, some decently thick, uh, um, residential zones, but we have a little bit of a benefit in that if um, the, the road up here is partially covered by industrials, which means we can we can sort of slink our way down here, and this will catch most of the residentials. Uh, and then we could come, say, barreling down here, um, or even do like a stop here in the middle to catch the industrials and then one down here. So I think that's going to be our, our, uh, our, our uh, tactic here. So let's get out the uh, upgrader tool. And you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, why don't we why don't we go straight through here? Through here. Because I have an idea of, of something I'm gonna be doing here. Um, momentarily. So let's first off, let's get our residential zone here. We want it to be on the lower side of the street because we want to catch as many of those lower zones as possible. Um, now here we want it to make a stop here at the uh, thing. Now, because we're going to be doing sort of a there and back again uh, setup here, I'm going to actually make this a double stop. 
So we're going to put one on one side and one on the other. Now when you put two stops across from each other, they merge into a single functional stop, but now the tram can stop going either way without having to turn around. Um, and then we're going to get ourselves a bus tram station. Now let me just make sure coverage here is sensible. Yeah, this already covers everything technically, uh, but the bus tram station will be needed for connections to the outside. Um, so we're going to go and do something like that. Um, yeah, we'll put you up like, up like here. That should be good. Uh, and then we can get ourselves a tram station. Sounds good to me. Yeah, that's about right. A little bit butchering of the terrain, but we'll live. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go here, make a stop there, go here, make a stop here again. Uh, so we want them to basically just stop every time they pass by here. It's a little bit more, it, it's not a loop. It's certainly not a loop. Um, so it's nothing to worry about as far as efficiency goes, but it will move everybody very efficiently along the line here. We're going to start off with just the one vehicle here. You can always add more as we need it. Uh, game. Game. Game, is there a problem? Okay, we're, uh, we're, we're back. I, uh, I forgot to add tram lines to my, uh, to my bus tape. Oh, derp, da derp. Um, so that should get them out and cooking pretty, uh, pretty well here. Um, now I'm going to let the simulation cook for just a bit here before I start my expansions. Uh, although that uh, Melanopolis is certainly in work, is certainly in waiting for their expansions. Um, so yeah, we're getting some we're getting some stuff on there. As long as we get some signs of life, that means we're doing something. Well, I just saw a Yui. I just saw Yui. That defeats the purpose. Okay, so to Grange Road, stop number one, Mill Road. Yeah, you want to be Terminal One because you're going to be coming back here, which means this needs to be Mill Road Two. I wish it would tell me which one was which. Well, we'll find out soon enough. We'll uh, we'll keep a close eye on this. Yeah, see, we're already up to two people, uh, two people icons over here. But yeah, we do not want them to. Um, to do a, a, a Yui every time they pass by the Mill Road sign here. That completely defeats the purpose. All right, good. See, yeah, you just stop off there. Um, which means I believe we have things set correctly. You know, they can do the Yui when they get down here, but that's fine. All right, we should be good. Oh yeah, the other thing is I'm going to pair back my loan, um, but then take it as needed so that when I am running the simulation, um, I'm, I'm not hit with as much interest expense. I'm going to be taking this loan momentarily, but for now, let's just saturate our lines. We'll get you up to high, uh, get you to line one and get you up here. So I can usually tell these things are going to require a couple of uh, a couple of trams here. I don't want you don't want to go overboard with them. You do not want to to glut them up, but uh, until then, you definitely want to make sure they have at least something going for them just to encourage the traffic. 
Okay, let's um, let's start planning out our trades now, because that's gonna be my big thing. Yes, I could just you know draw a road over here, and then just start a, uh, sending a convoy of uh, of trucks over there. But I ain't gonna. I'm gonna do things. I don't want to say the hard way, but the more aggressive way. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, we're going to turn on topography because we care about that a lot now. Um, the other thing, actually, before we turn on topography, we're going to need another uh, bus stop here, um, bus tram station. I think this is the right spot to do it right here. Um, you know, right here on the edge of town. We say tram track, yes. Not going to make that problem. And just to plan for future things, because Melanopolis is going to be so freaking huge, I see this being a very, very busy... Oop, no, not not left and right. We want, we want deep. We want deeper platforms. That's more like it. And this, this, this angle, though, this angle, though, that's going to cause me problems and nightmares. Unless we fix that. We have fixed it. Um, so, um, and then I think what we'll do here is with this central thing, we'll, we're gonna we'll double up the uh, double up the stops just like we did before, like that. And then we'll go here, upgrade that street, upgrade that street, and we're off to the races. Let's just modify the line. Um, oops. So Church Lane. Um, Melanopolis um, Central, then back to Church Lane, and then back to Albert Road. Beautiful. Um, now, the... Yeah, that should be correct. We'll, we'll, we'll check for UEs later. Actually, we'll check for UEs now, because I want to make sure these are, are operating correctly. Because we don't want UEs. That would be the ad. Yeah, see, look, they're already growing from us connecting the town to itself. Um, but again, we're not going to get a lot of growth out of these towns right off the bat. Only because, like, even if we max out this town, that's going to maybe push it to 20 if we're lucky. And even if we hook up another town, that might give us another 10%. But we're not going to be making these things grow like weeds, like by, you know, supplying 100% of a particular good. Okay, I think we're good. Yes, yes we are. Okay, good. All right, now it is train time. So we're going to get ourselves a, uh, um, a building here. We're going to get ourselves a passenger, no, not a terminus station. And we're actually going to go, um, we're going to start with 120. Oh yeah, we're also going to go and do the whole borrow all the money, build our railroad, and then pay back all the money just so that we can make use of stuff. Now it would be probably a little bit more efficient to go out and around up like that, but we do need to factor in its relation to Melanopolis as well as future connections. So I'm actually going to be doing it up and down. Um, so let's get that, uh, yeah, settings right there. Uh, part of me just wants to just slice this road in half, but eh, maybe we do it something like, yeah, I want it, I want it shallow enough that um because i mean yeah we can we can we can bend things around without uh going screaming into the residential zones here that should be good enough perfect now on this side of the equation um we've got our uh, our bus station over here same idea although this one i think we can just clip the tip we can we can safely clip that little nub right there and i'm okay with it not even touching the road like it, it can just be a socket into that bus station there we go beautiful 
Now then, let us find the most efficient way to wire these tracks together, because, yeah, the uh, dry climate uh, maps do not make that easy. Uh, so we are absolutely getting our topography uh, view on here. We are absolutely getting our track view on here. Alright, so we got this big mountain in the middle, and we do not want to go blasting through that. But we do want to make things as, as, as smooth and straight as possible. There's a lot of choppiness over here, so I think we're going to have to take the high road here uh, and then slinky over there. So that's probably going to be our best bet. Now if you just, yeah, latch onto that, thank you. Yeah, again, there's little contour lines around here, but we're looking out for the big ones. And you want to draw in small chunks here, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. Okay. Yeah, see, see this little divot along here? Yeah, these little divots are on, around here. They're subtle. I wish they would come in a slightly starker uh, shade of gray. But we can see we can sort of go down and around in here. We gotta be very careful about how we weave this thing. Just to minimize our cost, because in the early game, we don't have a lot of money to throw around. not want to go crossing that that steep steep ridge right there I know this is a lot of worming around but this is what you got to do in the dry climates all right yeah if we can sort of thread the needle here between all these higher ridges that would be awesome Ooh, if we could thread that and although it's weird that it draws itself in depending on my perspective uh, do we want to swing high here um, we could swing high It's cutting a little close. Yeah, see if we don't go if we don't go as close to that, then we're in much better shape financially. We can go south of that little blip. This is certainly not gonna be a boring train ride, I'll tell you that much. Alright, we'll probably want to swing low of the machine factory here. And below this little mountain ridge here. That should be good. We'll want to cross the road. I don't see us wanting to run parallel to this thing. get the curvature in our favor. Maybe we do want to cross the road here. Stay away from that mountain. And then see if we can't do a direct hook up here. That's not bad. Okay, we've made the connection. Um, now comes the... Um, now comes... Let's, let's get ourselves a... Uh, um, a, a depot. Uh, out the back here. Perfect. Okay. All right, now let's hook up our line here. We'll be getting uh, proper names for both stations and uh, lines and connections for my other name and game patrons as we go along. Uh, but first things first, let's uh, let's let's see what we got here. Now, the uh, European thing has this teeny tiny train with these teeny tiny coach cars, but that not that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, we, I mean, this thing does not have a lot of power to it. Um, it, it. It has the opposite of a lot of power to it, so we can't really load this thing up crazily. But we do want this to be able to pull a lot of people. 
Um, like if it's mediocre, as long as we can take the, those higher slopes, um, you know, we don't want to not be able to take high slopes because some of those slopes that we have in there might be concerned, might be considered high and we don't want the train to just flat out get stuck. Um, what happens if we add another one of these? I'm, I'm just seeing how far I can push this thing. Cause I see, I see this thing making us money and I don't want to double up this track. Yeah, not enough power for that car. So we're going to, we're going to nix that. We're just going to leave it at a, so 1.3 mil, 48 capacity. I think this will do nicely. And we'll assign you. Now we don't need to worry about the increased maintenance on this train um, because it doesn't go near residential zones. That's the other reason why I brought this out here. Um, oh yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to do just to give this line a little bit of a chance. And I normally don't do this. I'm going to say, wait one minute, just to give it a little chance to fill up with some passengers. Once this thing becomes more routinely full, then I'll obviously nix the whole wait till full order, or it might just be moot by itself. Um, and I can tell you right now, this is going to be a money loser in the early uh, stages here. Let's get rid of our excess loan that we don't need at the moment. But I can tell you, New Jet Stream City, they, they, they got people that wants to go there. How can we say no to the peoples? Because right now, all this traffic is just for the intra-city transportation. But shortly, the city's going to get the memo. It's like, hey, we can make our way down to Mel Melanopolis and vice versa. Uh, and then suddenly the tracks will be coming a lot. We'll be getting a lot more busy and popular uh, with passengers going for there. And then the train will actually make some sense. But I can tell you for its maiden voyage, this thing is going to be a money pit. Um, I mean, the intra-city trams are, are, are paying, are, are, are doing nicely enough. Yeah, we got people just wanting to come down there and then all the residentials wanting to come over here. No, uh, no, nobody loading up in the train buildings themselves yet. But again, I have a feeling we just need a little bit more. Do I only have the one train here? No, I have, I have two. But we got uh, we got people growing, um, and yeah, when you see the number of destinations exceed the actual population, that means it sees legitimately that we it, it has been uh, hooked up to New Jet Stream City. It sees the fact that hey, we've made these connections, um, and it's benefiting from it. Um, so now it's growing from it, uh, which means that will produce more people. Uh, we may need a third tram here. All right, we got our first people at the uh, at the train station. Huzzah! All right, let's get you. We don't again. We don't want to go too crazy because sometimes these things sort of stable off, and then you've bought way too many, and now you're running at a deficit. We don't want to run at a deficit. So I think three's a gonna be about my limit here. Yeah. So we got the we got the nobody there, and then we got what six people, one car's worth. Again, money pit for the moment. But once we start fair, once we start ferrying all the people over here, then it will start making sense, and more importantly, start making money. And look at this. Yeah, we were starting to get to the point where we were um, not having enough people. Um, uh, we need more. Uh, we we need a loan here to get more. Uh, more trams here. Again, I'm not going to panic by like 50 of them or something like that. That's, 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 uh, it's bad. But we are going to feed this station more because, I mean, it's a bigger city. It deserves more trams. It's got more people. Uh, and they like our services. Is, is. Yeah, you're six to six because there's people waiting there.
And then as people go on here, they start getting dropped off here. And now you can see why I built the train so large. This, my friends, once, um, um, yeah, destinations, two, uh, both of them are in Melanopolis. The two destinations are the two tram stops they eventually want to make their way over to. Uh, now, the way it works here is that residents from one city want to go to either commercial zones or industrial zones. They want to go shopping uh, or tourism in the case of another uh, another city, uh, or they want to go to work. Maybe they commute to another city. Uh, but with the one thing is the residentials don't not, don't want to go to residentials of another city. Um, so they're always going to be looking for that. So you generally want your sort of your connecting transportation hubs to be in either commercial industrial areas and not just for the noise, but also for the convenience. You're going to have people wanting to walk there. All right. So we have our first big pickup here. Oh my God. We filled the train. We filled the train. We completely filled the train. Did not see that coming this early on, but uh, I'll take it. I will take it absolutely, and uh, yeah, maybe uh, maybe get one of Marty's uh, the, them their uh, horse-drawn carriages, because I I don't like seeing the big person icon, especially when that means that could be people that are yeah. See, we're we're losing people here. The tr the station is overloaded, and therefore we are not getting enough passengers for that. We we need more trams. We need more trams. But this again is why I'm glad we have Yeah, Look at this station. Damn. 72. 70 freaking two. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's help it out here, shall we? Can't forget the maintenance. Again, we don't want these to be noise fests. And how many have we got waiting here? 30, 39. So, yeah, once with the drop off here and once we make a few deliveries to that thing, I could see this train being full on the other way. Before we end our episode here, let's see what a fully loaded train uh, pays us for making this kind of a journey. Because this is going to really be the backbone of our income in the early game. This big burst of money. $216,524. Not bad. Not not awesome. We, we, we need to expand more in order to keep the money flowing. But honestly, not bad at all. Not bad a freaking all at all. So let's, um, uh, so I hope uh, you guys like this little start off here. We are going to be sticking more to trains than we are to um, buses here uh, when it comes to hooking our cities up. And despite the uh, spaghetti here, I think this is a good first route. We might need a little bit more, uh, more oomph on some of these, but I think we're off to a good start. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!